Here's some really interesting statistics. 60% of employees say that their manager damages their self-esteem. 65% of employees would prefer to have a new manager compared to more pay. And 82% of employees don't trust their manager to tell the truth. Those are startling statistics. Why are leaders and managers not more effective? Why don't we see more positive results? Well, I think that this is really interesting. And to explain this, let me use an example. The example is Tom Coughlin. Tom Coughlin is the former NFL football coach of the New York Giants. When he was an NFL coach, he won two Super Bowls. So he's a pretty successful NFL coach. Upon stepping down as a coach, he took a job as the president of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Historically, the Jacksonville Jaguars have not been very successful. So I think we have to believe that in making this transition, Tom Coughlin had all of the positive intentions in the world. I believe that he wanted to have an impact on the Jacksonville Jaguars, to turn around this team, to leave a lasting legacy for himself. I don't see why we shouldn't think otherwise. But here's what ended up playing out. You see, Tom Coughlin is somewhat of a disciplinarian. He believes that if you're on time, you're late. And that if you're on time, you're five minutes early. And a lot of times he would ass assign fines to people who were on time, but to him late. And this didn't go over so well with his players. See, I think, again, I think he had some really good intentions, thinking if I can instill some discipline within this football team, we're going to be more successful. But as I mentioned, it didn't resonate with the players. And there's some statistics to back this up. You see, the Jacksonville Jaguars, the football team, has about 3% of all NFL players, because there's about 32 teams in the NFL. Well, in this last year, the NFL Players Association came out with a report where they reported that 25% of all NFL player complaints came from the Jacksonville Jaguars. 3% of the population is driving 25% of the complaints. This was so bad that the NFL Players Association informed all of their players and said, we cannot recommend that you play football for the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's incredible. So, rightfully so, the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars promptly fired Tom Coughlin. So here's this situation where this leader, Tom Coughlin, has all of the best intentions in the world, wants to do a great job, but ends up having a negative effect. I don't believe that this situation is uncommon in leadership. In fact, I don't know any leader that goes to work and says, I want to hurt my employee's self-esteem. They just don't do that. So why do so many leaders fall short of their potential? The reality is a combination of having good intentions and low awareness. And what they aren't aware of is their mindsets. They don't recognize that they have prevailing mindsets or mental lenses that cause them to see the world in such ways that their best options are actually negative. But if we could help leaders awaken to their mindsets, help them identify more positive mindsets to take on, then we will enhance the effectiveness of their leadership. We will be able to match up their good intentions with positive results.